fucking me. Now, come on. Where the hell is your father? 40 minutes he's been gone. Well, it is Saturday. I don't care if it's Christmas sod and Eve. Hello. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> come in. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pam. Pamela. You all know Gavin. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> my husband Nick has been called into the office. Apparently, all the computers have been shut down, and only he knows how to. Anyway, enough about him. <laughs> you must be Nessa. All right, Pam. <laughs> And that makes you Gwen. Hello, <laughs> mother of the bride. <laughs> <laughs> and you must be Uncle Brian. Uh, Brian. Bryn. Bryn. It means hill in Welsh. Does it really? Do you know I've no idea what my name means in Welsh. Why? Because I don't speak the lingo, darling. No, in Welsh, Pam means why. Oh. Or brick. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. Here he is. Here he is, the worker. Nice to meet you. How was everything at the office? Fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but we just had a burst pipe. <laughs> uh, where do you want this food, love? Uh, those. Food. Oh, God, no! Everyone's catered for. Catered for everyone well in advance. No, it's just that this morning, before you arrived, I became a vegetarian. Yeah, veggie. So that's what this is. Um, out of interest, any one of you vegetarians? I mean, not that it makes any difference to me either way. I mean, we're all adults. Um, Pam. But I would ask you to respect my views. And, and all the little animals who've been needlessly murdered in the name of Western civilised greed. Pam, look, um, I'm sure all our guests could all do with a sit-down, so why don't you all go through and, uh, Gavin, you get everybody's bags and your mum and I'll get the drinks, all right? Thanks. Oh, thank Excellent. You, thank you, Gavin. <gasps> oh, my God! What is wrong with you? I fell apart. I've fallen apart, Mick. I was so nervous I can't even remember what I just said. You said you were a vegetarian. Yes, sir. OK, calm down. It's just you weren't here, and you always do the greeting. I get the drinks, and you introduce. It's been like that for 26 years. OK, look, look, look <gasps> at me. Look at me. <gasps> now, you take some deep breaths, all right? Yeah, yeah. That's it. And calm. calm. Now, we're going to go back in there and have a lovely evening with some lovely people, and the only thing you have to remember is that you don't <gasps> eat meat. meat. Oh, Stace, I tell you what, you could do a lot worse. No words of a lie, when they die, you'll be loaded. Nessa! She's got a point, Gwen. I mean, let's face it, when Trevor died, God rest his soul, he left you a penniless widow. You don't want to see Stace go down that same terrible route, do you? I can't believe this. I'm not even married yet, and already talking about my in-laws dying. You've got to think about these things, love. I mean, had you ended up with Leighton, right? You'd be living on the breadline. Because his family had nothing. Howell's lot. Well, they were much better off. At least with Ahmed. Uh, you felt there was a bit put by. But that's in their culture, see? Bryn, we are not to mention the other engagements. Stace will tell him when she's ready. I just don't see the point in upsetting him. Yeah, nor the family. You want to think of the inheritance. Look, they're just ordinary people. They're not mega rich, nor nothing. Champagne, everyone! Who's for champagne? <laughs> Here we go, Stacey. Ooh. There you are. Gwen. Oh, thank you very much. Nessa. You'll have to go outside, I'm afraid. No worries. I still got these. There you go, Nessa. So, a toast to the happy couple. Gavin and Stacey! Oh, Gavin, Gavin and Stacey! Yeah. 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 Congratulations. I'm not being funny, Stacey, but you want to get a life. What you said just now was really boring. I mean, I can jabber with the best of them, but that, I switched off at the end of Banana. Sorry. You want to get out the house? I know. Why don't you come fencing with me tomorrow? Because you know Pat... Fat no more Pat. Fat no more Pat. Well, she can't come because she's having her staples out. You could make up the numbers. Oh, I'd love to, but we're going Barry, aren't we? Oh, God, the scan. What's the latest with Smithy and Lucy? Well, last we heard, he was going to meet her after guides and try and win her back. But we've not heard a peep from him since. Oh, God. Hi, Ines. All right, Stace, what's occurring? Oh, nothing much. I'm a bit bored, to be honest. What's this I hear about a brunch? 
Oh, it was lush. Right, I had a banana, but I was still hungry, so I ended up having some cereal and a yogurt. Bear with me, Stace. Oh. 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 I'll sling it up or I'll break your face. Stace, I gotta go. It's Mayhem down here. But hang on. Right, that's gotta get to Guildford by first thing tomorrow, okay? okay. Hello, Gavin speaking. Yeah, don't worry. Joel's going to FedEx it so it gets there by first thing tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, can I call you back? Cheers. What are you doing here? Let's go and get a coffee. Do you know what she said? She said she was relieved. Relieved I'm fathering someone else's child. Do you know why, don't you? Why? Because it turns out, for the past three months, she's been seeing someone else. Oh. You know, that Craig. The one who washed my car on Bobby Chubb week? With, with the acne. acne. Yeah. Started running the tuck shop together, didn't they? Youth club. I knew something was going on. She started coming home with shrimps, cola bottles, Astro belts. Guilt sweets, they were, Gav. Guilt sweets. But with all them activities and seeing you, I mean, how'd she fit it all in? Oh, she's been fitting it all in all right. Apparently, she's got more in common with him. You fit her or something. I said to her, I'll go you fit her. Do you know what she said? What? The calf's 22. He's 21, Gav. How does that make me feel? I've been thinking about ending it all, to be honest. Suicide. What? Big time. How many Nurofen would I need to finish me off? You? You'd need hundreds. <sighs> I can't afford that, can I? Not if I'm going to have an holiday this year. Bloody hell. Oh, my Christ! Mum! What? What have you brought all this for? You said to bring everything, all your stuff. Where's it all well, going to go? I don't think we've got room for all this, lot. I didn't mean everything, just the stuff I need. Well, I'm sorry, but you should have said. We worked very hard to back all this up. You should have been more specific. Well, I didn't think you'd bring the giraffe. Giraffe? For goodness sake! Pam? I can't believe this, Ness. Why didn't you stop him? Oh, don't blame me, love. I'm just the driver. Hey, take a chill pill, Stace. Keep it real. It's not your mother's fault. Now, you can take out the stuff you need, and the rest we'll take to the tip. You're not throwing it away. All right, then we'll take it to Secondhand City. I wouldn't bother, Bren. When I worked there, they had no call for this type of thing. It's all three-piece sweets these days. That's your money. Look, there's stuff I don't want right now, but I might want it one day when we got our own place. Well, we can't take it back. Why? There's nowhere to put it now we've done the room up. Done it up? Oh, Stace, you wouldn't recognise the place. I've only got the skirtings to do. Job done. Cream it is, Pam. Cream and plum. Oh, I that does this. sound nice. You've just been waiting to get rid of me. It feels like the minute I got married, you went, right, get rid of her and all her stuff. It wasn't like that at all. I found it all very upsetting, if you must know. Sorry, Pam. Oh, Gwen. Look, Stace, why don't you have a sift through? Pick out all the stuff you need now, then all the stuff you want to keep, we'll stick that in the garage and all the rest can go to the tip of the second-hand city. It's not actually a city, Mick. It's a shop. Thank you. Sorry. No, you're right. It's fine. Uh, 
Oh, I go for my scan in a few weeks. Right, do you need me no, to? No, I'm just telling you. Are you getting back today? Taking the truck. Is it? It is your baby. It I is. I know. I know. I was going to say, is it safe for you to be driving that thing? Yeah, I'm fine till 32 weeks. Well, I'd like to come down, if that's all right, for the scan with you, yeah? You know, if we're going to do this, I want to do it properly. I'll give, give you some money towards it. I'm not going to be an arsehole about it. I'll tidy. Right. Right, so that's the stuff you want in my room. I mean, our room. That's going in the garage. Oh, God knows where. Pam. Well, we'll find a way, but I'm just saying that's all. It's going to be a squeeze. And then that, that's going to second-hand second -hand city. city yeah. Do they take the foot spa at second-hand city? I mean, would you buy a second-hand foot spa? Well, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to ask Ness. Nessa, will they take this, do you think? Has it got a box? Not no. that I know of. No way. Not a chance. They laugh you out of their brain. We'll just spin it, then. Half past now, shall we get going? I've got to help Mick with all of this. Ah, uh, you're all right. You're sticking around for a bit, aren't you? No, I ain't going loose, she's still sick. She's at an all-day swimming gala. She never stops, that girl. She'll stop tonight and I'll tell her I'm the father of someone else's child. Right, I'll just go and get the keys. I'm gonna fire it up and get on the road, Gwen. There's no need for us to convoy. Anyway, I'm stopping off at Heston to see Ozzy and a few of the Stobart boys. Right, well, shall we join you there? No, this truck is only, I'm afraid. Stace, see you. Take it easy, Mick. Increase the peace, Pam. Right, so I'll... Uh, no, I'll give you a ring. Tidy. Oh, Gav, you gonna give me a bunk up? It's no joke in this skirt. Yeah, OK. You back the base, Ness. Back in. You are very lucky, you two. I've never had what you'd call a best friend. I've had acquaintances, many, but never anyone, you know, best. And I suppose that's because I always had Trevor. God rest his soul. But of course, he was my brother, so that didn't really count. And I mean, I've always been very close with Nessa. I know she's got my back, but that's as far as it goes. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You all right, Dad? Yeah, yeah, come on, give us a hand, will you? <laughs> I said we should have got a new photo, darling, and been honesty, warts and all. But what do I know? Where are we going? Ladies' toilets. What? So, are you going to keep it? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I am, as it goes. I thought about it long and hard, no words of a lie. But then I watched Vera Drake, twice, and I thought, no, I can't be doing with all that. Well, in that case, you have got to tell him. She's right, Ness. But I don't want him involved. That is not up to you, my love. There's two of you in this. Oh, my Pete, are you all right? Seth's gone. I know. Who's Seth? The black fellow. They met on the internet. They were going to have a three-way, but he didn't want to. He changed his mind. And Ness is pregnant. What? And Ness is the father. father. I'll be your best mate. Will you? I sure as shit ain't got one anymore, have I? Come on, Smithy. You're a young man. You've got your whole life ahead of you. You don't want to be tied down to an old fogey like me. You're not old, Bryn. <laughs> are you? How old are you? That, young man, is a gentleman's prerogative. And anyway, it's not how old you are, it is how you are old. <laughs> You are so funny, Bryn. <laughs> you know that? You crack me up every time. <laughs> Not like him, the useless sack of shit. Hey, now. Come on. You're crossing the line there, son. He's in love. And there's nothing you can do about it. I love you, Bryn La. I do. Let's meet up every weekend in Swindon, just me and you. Really? Yes. All right. Get on. <laughs> do you want some of Gwen's lasagna? Bring it on. All right, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Oh my God, you've got to tell him tonight. You've got to tell him now. I know. I can't believe it. How long have you known about this? About three weeks. What, you've known for three weeks? You didn't think to tell me? I tried. Not that hard. Don't argue, my love. It's not worth it. I love you, Dawny. Yeah, you know when we were away and I said I had something to tell you? Yeah. And I told you about Nessa being in the original lineup of All Saints, but she had to leave because she didn't get on with Shazney. I was trying to tell you then. What, so you made all that up? No. no. That was true. It was a power struggle. Look, none of this matters who told you when and what have you. What matters is the only person who hasn't been told is the only person who should have been told, and he sat out there. Who? Bryn? No! no. Smithy. I come to Wales, you can come up here. I go to church with you. We just hang out. You know, like best mates do. Do you think Mick will mind if I finish his last slice of pizza? So what if he does? I'll back you up, because hmm. that's what best mates do. Oh, Smithy. I got something to tell you. What? I'm pregnant. And you're the father. Now listen. I made it clear from the get-go that eyes are not my strong point. So I've done him well in shades, have I? Cheers, Ness. How much I owe you? Nothing. It's on the house. It's the least I can do given what went on with you and me. Come on. I gotta give you something. Fair enough. Sixty quid. It says forty, but eh? Oh, Darren! Stop messing with my head! Either you wants to give me something or you doesn't. I give you the world, Ness. You only has to ask. And what you reckon your wife would say to that? Sorry. Hiya, Ness. Hiya, da. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, lush. I love Des Lynam. Right, we're done. Be gone. Will I see you tonight down the dolphin line? Oh! Be gone. Sorry. Where to's Neil, the baby? Gluing down the pennies. Oh! Oh! Oh, Neil! Oh, Neil, the baby. You nearly finished? Because we'll be hitting the roads in a bit. Yeah, just got to fill the grabbers. Tidy. All right, Stace, what's occurring? Oh, Ness, I'm not remotely Christmassy. I know. I mean, it's Christmas Eve and I've still got presents to buy. That is so not me. I'm only all done by November. Did you get Gwen a bath bomb? Yes. And what too did you get Gav in the end? Oh, we're not doing presents this year. We get a new kitchen cupboards, we are, in the sales. That's really boring, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie, Stace. That's the worst present I ever heard of. And last year I give Bryn some strep cells. It wasn't my idea, it was Gav's. I wanted to go on a family trip to Disneyland Paris. But he said, no, let's get cupboards for the kitchen and just take the kids to Chessington. That's what you call a compromise. And you knows what they says about compromise? It's a coitus killer. What? Coitus. Population. The art of sexual congress. Right. Things still not cooking with you two on that front? It's non-existent. You and Smithy have probably had sex more recently than me and Gav. And you two haven't done it in a year. Eleven months, all told. But she used to be regular as clockwork. Every, Every second, second Friday. Friday, I know. Since this new lady's been in his life, he's not been giving me diddly. I didn't like to ask, but how are you managing? I've had to be self-sufficient. Of course, there's been the odd scrag end toss my way on the island. But that don't even touch the sides. You know, it's not that we don't want to. We do. We just never have time or energy or nothing. Marriage is a tricky business, Stace. You've got to keep the spark alight. So you're saying I should get Gav a Christmas present? No. I'm saying keep the home fires burning. Because once you let that flame go out, you'll find you're in a world of pain. And forget the presents. No one remembers the presents. That's why I'm giving everyone exactly the same thing. Oh, What are you getting us this year? Taps. <laughs>